One thing that CJ said that broke my heart, everybody else mom came, but you didn't come. I'm used to everybody's dad being involved, but like only my mom is involved. Not everyone, like you just said, is gonna make it. Your dreams could drown you. What's up, y'all? Ooh, I like that sound. You ever did an ASMR? Are you just talented? The bartender? Basically, we about to do a little mukbang. I mean, we have no idea what we're about to talk about. We did one of these like two, three years ago. Yeah, in you the guys car. loved it. Yeah. We got checkers, and to be honest with y'all, my stomach is hurting so bad. So I don't even know how I'm about to do this, but I'm about to try to eat. The only thing I had today was a little bit of egg drop soup and some beef. I think that food made my stomach hurt. Oh, the chicken bite box. Fun fact, I used to work at Checkers for a year and a half and did you it, was, like it? it was my first real job. Yeah, I did like it. I worked at the window. I've never worked at a fast food place. Never in your life? No, yeah, I kind of always wanted to. Though. I want to go back and like do that for a day. Like a fast food? I miss customer service. Like I miss like being at the window and make, I used to make people's days. I can see, I can see you being good at customer service. I was great at customer service. Anytime people had like a, a attitude, like I would just, Brighten a mood up, you know? Do you think I, I would be good? I think you would be through. You couldn't even probably, you wouldn't be able to do it. I never had like a fast food job, but I worked for a Foot Locker, which I had to deal with a lot of people. I wasn't the best. Like I was by far not the best. But you probably was like, like cute. And yeah, like, like I did good with the girls though. Like I did good yeah. with the girls and the niggas wanted like, you know, I could give them advice, real advice, but like. The girls, they were just gonna buy To be like a, like a. Salesman, like, hey, yeah, I think yeah, you should like, buy the shoe stuff to you wash know what's shoes. one thing about me, and I don't know if this is everybody, like, unless I need help, I kind of want to be left alone if I'm shopping. So you don't want to bother people as a salesman? Yeah, person. so, like, I'm trying to put, like, myself in people's shoes, and it's like, bro, people come in here, you know what you want. Yeah. So, like, they be trying to You're like, to do you need help? No, I don't. One thing about, I don't damn, I don't want to, like expose none but like foot locker is like have you ever been a foot locker and then you buy a pair of shoes and they be like and they ended up making you socks? buy it? yes do you want a shirt to, but yes. they, they they make, make you do, do it. that they I, make I, you I used to work that. at finish line that was my first job yeah that's not like and dumb, they used to be like you to. have to up the, man, the manager tells you you have to upsell you have to upsell yeah. because you get commission off yeah. that stuff and you get a bigger commission off of socks and t-shirts than sneakers i think you get like one percent off of sneakers but you oh, get wow. like five percent off of a sock or a, a t-shirt mm. like you kind of want to sell more like that's why i'd be like oh this is the shirt that matches the jordans you want like and it's you like you know this? you know me i'm a style person i'm not yeah. selling no i don't want right. i don't even want you in that shirt bro yeah like you know what i mean go across the street well you're not good yourself. for their business yeah I wasn't. you wouldn't be good for their business i wasn't i need to pray over my food because my stomach hurt what's up i'll hold you up i know i'm wrong Sitting here asking God to help me eat this fast food. It's this food, is wrong. I, mean, I know, but still. It's you like, said I, I be blessing it though. It's not only that. I be blessing it too. I ask him to release any like impurities from the food, you know, me so too. we don't get sick and bless other people, you know. To, me too. I always um, ask to bless people that don't have the opportunity to oh, get food. Oh, yeah. I used to have times where like I couldn't even afford a combo meal. Can I tell y'all a secret? So, one of the things that I used to do, and I don't know if it makes me a bad person or like just a very desperate person, but when I was um used to be broke, I used to, <laughs> I used to um go in front of somebody in the line and take the food. What do you mean? I oh, to, like if it wasn't your order? Yeah, it was my, I would just go get it. I was so And hungry. then just leave? Yeah, that was so wrong of me. And, I, and you know, like that could have been- Somebody else? Yeah, but like, it's crazy because money, like, not even money, but not having money will make you do some really just yeah. unethical things. But you know, that's like more, that's more of like a mental thing. Like, I've been through some certain things where like people that, I guess, blessed or like fortunate, I guess, like people I've seen, even like my own family or friends, like there's something called like... Survival? A, a, yeah. It's called survival mode. And when someone's in that mode, even the nicest person Could can do a, a terrible thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, you're desperate. I need to eat. Like my stomach is literally like right, hurting. Right, like at this point, I don't <laughs> like, care. You know what I mean? Or my kid is screaming out. And I'm about to get this food. And I'm about to rob you. I'm just saying like, I, that's basically how like, you could get desperate. Yeah, where, like, people man, will go still baby still in diapers and stuff because they babies need it. Like One thing I do believe that like, I think it'll always come back to you. In some countries, like stealing is the worst thing you could do. Get your hand chopped off? Yeah, it's like one of the worst things you could do. Have you ever stole? Yeah. My mom taught me a lesson very early. I was a little kid. We was on our way to a funeral. I had my black pants on, my school shoes with the tucked in collar shirt, right? Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we we stopped at the supermarket. I don't know why, but I asked my mom for this king size bag of Skittles, and she was, she said no. I started crying. When she walked away, I put the I took the Skittles and I put it in my pants. But in order for you not to see the huge bulge in my pants, I had to untuck my shirt. Mm -hmm. So my shirt was untucked. But then when we got to the funeral, she she was like, "Boy, he took your shirt in," and she tucked my shirt in and the bag of Skittles oh. fell down my pants leg. And she said, "What is that?" And I had to lift oh. my leg up, and it was the king size bag of Skittles that she told me to put back. So, bro, she we literally left the funeral. Went. She took me back to the supermarket. Asked for the manager and told the manager that I stole and she made me apologize. Yeah, bro. I feel it though. But it was like so embarrassing. Like I never wanted to steal again. Even there was times where like as a kid, like I was with people that were stealing and it's like I can't do it because of that feeling that I felt that day. Like it was very embarrassing. I was embarrassed. I'm like, Aww. you know what I mean? I'm like, Man, I remember getting caught by Walmart security at the front when you don't even know the whole time they watching you. Man, I got took to the back like maybe a few times in my life, and it was very embarrassing. You got took to the back. Yeah. Me too. I've been taken. I've been to the taken back. to the back, and then they call your parents, and then they. they oh my pick you goodness! Up. And it's like, girl, that you stole markers and yoga pants. <laughs> that happened to me at Toys R Us. Do you remember Toys R Us? Yes. I stole Yu-Gi-Oh cards, bro, and there was a secret. Like a nigga with red, a plain clothed mm -hmm. person, like and they he was be watching, so and he was watching me. And as soon as me and my friend hit the door, he grabbed us, mm -hmm. and they had like our picture up on for a little while. I'm like, damn, I'm like a whole. Beast. I feel like though is when people are younger, they just do, you know, we do stupid stuff. Oh, this this food is gonna hurt my stomach. I know it is, but whatever. I wanted to bake some cookies, but anyway, y'all. I don't know how we got into that, but we just like we was upstairs, and honestly, the only reason why I was like let's do a like a little mukbang is because I feel cute. So I usually take my makeup off. I had an interview today, and I kept it on. So I was like, let's just do a video. It's like, no, I did a video too because we need to be more consistent. So that's not the only reason, but <laughs> it's a mixture of things. Mm -hmm. I literally just got off stream and I'm starving, so don't mind me. I'm not starving at all. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat this. I wanted some funnel. Y'all let me have the funnel cake fries. Mmm. Mmm. The funnel cake fries ain't that good to me. Yeah, they're they not. They be real oily, right? It's got a bad aftertaste to me. The way that bacon is just sticking out is so thick. Like, that's a thick piece of bacon. Oh, did Clarence tell y'all that? No, he didn't tell y'all, but he injured his um knee playing basketball yesterday morning. So it's really swollen. And so he's been walking around with a cane all day long. It's serious, too. I know y'all need thinking it's not just i landed awkwardly like hopefully i don't need surgery or i didn't tear nothing crazy join the bad knee club i think it's my it's my left knee too wait is that your left knee no that's your right knee oh yeah both of our left knees oh we getting old babe we go for two knees in this house we only got two knees in here rely on the kids for their knees <laughs> cj go run and get it mm-hmm I'm gonna be old as hell. Like, go get this. Can you bring me the remote? Oh my God. I remember when I was little. I used Did to, your mom used to do that? Yes. Yo. I was about to say, man. She used to make me cry. Yeah, it used to be like <laughs> one of those. Uh, it used to be one of the frustrating cries. And you like. <laughs> you ever cry like that as a kid? Where you like. <laughs> OD. I can see you doing that. Like, oh man. Oh. Well, my mom would call me from like, I'm outside. And she'll call me in and like, she'll here, go. Give me a Go get me something to drink, really. Oh, put some ice. My I'm mom like, used to be like, give me a glass of water. Yeah, put some ice in it. I'm when like, I was little, I started, you're in the house. I was like, dang, was I born to just do stuff? Like, it was so funny when I, I was really frustrated when I was younger, but now I can find myself doing the same thing to CJ. And CJ, CJ be, be sick with you. Same thing. I'm like, CJ, go run up. Come on, you got a uh, good knee. <laughs> I'm like, run upstairs and it's just so CJ crazy. CJ be sick with He got to pause the game, all that. Like. He's like, mom. I'm like, CJ, you feel like doing me a favor? He be like, I'm like, it involves going upstairs. <laughs> he just look, he's like, mom. Like, if you have to. <laughs> he's like, mm. So I be really understanding him, but then I understand, now I understand my parents. Like, it's just crazy, man. How life is, like how we used to be kids and like now. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy and like, I know I said this before, but like we'll never get yesterday back. We just keep getting older and older every single day. But I think that's one thing that's precious about life though. Life wouldn't be as precious if you could just rewind or go back. You know what I mean? Like what makes it precious is that you have to live every moment. Like you got to never get it again. Every single moment, Man. yeah. But yeah, my mom used to definitely do that. That just pissed me off. 
What's another thing you used to say as a kid? Ooh, you know that I understand now when an adult would be doing something and like, you know that what they doing is wrong, but they tell you not to do that same thing that they're doing. But when they do it, it's like, cause I'm grown and I hated it. I wanted to be grown so bad. I couldn't wait to be grown so that I could say that. But I don't think I've ever really said that to like my kids. Have you? example. What? <sighs> oh, Thank you. I don't know, like, for example, like, like what's if, something if I an tell adult some... would do and tell a kid not to do, but they would still do it, like, name, name like, you. okay, for example, like, CJ, like, I tell him not to eat certain things and, like, oh, you ain't supposed to be eating this in the morning or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I turn around, he'll see me doing it, and he'll be like, Mom, but I thought you said mm, you. Okay. And I'll be like, well. Now I, now I understand what you're trying to say. But I think there's like, a, there's really certain things that adults could do that kids can't do, though. But I I still feel like we should be leading by example and like I feel like a lot of times we do the same things that we don't want our kids to do like I we'll wake that, up and go on our phones or we'll be on our phones I think phones that has happened long. with me I was just about to say that with the phone I think we try to stress well, like especially Legend and CJ like don't just wake up and hop on the phone and then we do it and then we do it and then CJ be, <laughs> CJ be like it. but like you got your phone and it's like bro like <laughs> <laughs> but no in a way it's like kids do be right I mean it's not good but for we anyone have a phone like no, I know, but like, it's not good for no one to wake up and like be on their phone. No, like yeah, that. absolutely not. But I think it's worse for even kids. more worse for a kid. Like a they kid's young. brain. Like you ever wake up a kid out of sleep? He literally don't know where he's at. Literally, like he just lost in like this like sleep world. So imagine waking up and just going on it. Like it's just like, bro, go eat breakfast. Go brush your teeth. Go, you know. Ooh, man, I remember one time. I got whooped, man, because my mom kept telling me, like, when you wake up, brush your teeth. Like, I kept going to school without brushing my teeth, but I was brushing my hair back into this bun. I kept wearing the same, like, pants. I would put the same pants back on. And, like, and I guess when I was younger, like, I had this this phase of buttery teeth. And, like... <laughs> you my yellow teeth? Yeah, like, yellow teeth because I was not, like, I don't know... up stuff when yeah, you Yeah, I don't know if I was, like, scared to brush my teeth. I don't know if, like... But I remember, I think I was in, like, the second grade or something. One time, my mom came in there and just called me just running my toothbrush under the water, not even brushing my teeth. And, <laughs> brush, man, she got me into a corner, and she, like, whooped me. Like, I was like, dang, I was hurt. I was crying, but I, I started brushing my teeth, like, every day. I got in trouble like that, too, with, like, uh, taking a, sh a, a shower. Like, my mom would be, like, get in the shower, get in the shower, right? And I would be in there, and I would just run the shower. <laughs> I'll close the door and I'll run the shower, right? <laughs> and then like after like 10 minutes, I'll just get out and like dry my, like just <laughs> dry my to go, go right? And it, my mom came in and she picked up the soap and it was dry. Dry, oh my God. <laughs> she was like, how you like, she was like, you took a shower? Like she asked me to make sure she like she wanted to watch me lie to her. Mm -hmm. And she was like, You took a shower? I'm like, Yeah, I took a shower. Like, you can even smell me, like, you know? <laughs> she was, you sat there and did that kind up of life? The soap and it was dry, bro. You got a whooping? Yeah. You know what's so funny? That's why yeah. people think I'm crazy, but I be smelling my kid. Well, I smell CJ. Like, remember, babe, you thought it was crazy. You be, like, his, you be smelling his booty oil. Yeah, I do. That's extreme though. It's not extreme. Did you wash your butt? Did you scrub your butt like how I taught you? Because <laughs> You're not about to be up in they class with like, funky yeah, booty. Yeah, let me smell. Yeah, I'll smell his whole body. You don't got to smell his butt. <laughs> you can smell his arm, like his leg. That's old school. I've seen other parents, like, do that, like, in the past. Like, I, like you know, I don't, of course, he getting older now, so I won't do that now. I just trust that he'll wash up. But, you know, like, one time, you know how I be scaring you in the house when I'm just standing here? I'll do that to CJ. Like, like while he's in the shower, I just stand there, like, mm -hmm. And he just be in there and just stand in there. And I just be watching him just squeeze the soap out. Mm -hmm. And he'd turn around and scream, let out a scream. You know, you know what's one thing I, I get now that as a parent? I know all the secrets. Because, like, I used to do it. Like, not the secrets, but, like, all the little tricks and stuff. Like, I think I've told CJ to, like, clean the room before. And, like, I go upstairs and it's clean. And then something in my head told me, like. Look under the bed or something. Check the closet. I check the closet and it's, like. He literally just threw, threw everything, everything in, in the closet. <laughs> I've seen that too. You feel me? But I, I know, cause that's, that would be me as a kid. I know what a kid would do. Like, so it's like, and then you look back when you was a kid mm -hmm. and your mom saying like, you can't play tricks on me. Like I know all the, like, and it's so true. Cause she was a kid one day doing the same mm -hmm. shit. And then now she's grown, it's crazy. I don't know. I feel like sometimes they'd still be a little kid in me. I feel like I tend to understand kids just like as if I was a kid and like, I'm super duper lenient, but mm -hmm. 
But I don't know. I guess I try not to be hard on stuff like that because I know kids are just kids and sometimes like you just gotta redirect them. Do you feel good to be a dad? Like, do you feel like you got into the swing of stuff, or like, is it still? Kinda... No, I think it's like I'm. Con I'm always like learning something new or wanting. You know what I mean? Like, what's the best thing about being a dad? Like, what's the best feeling that you get? I guess like this proud feeling, like something you created, and like I just be it's proud. Yours. Yeah, like I'd be looking at him. He looked just like me. It's like. But like, is there anything that legend do that you feel like it just make you like in the inside like milk? Probably every time you say daddy. Like his cute little voice, like like now that he's getting older, like he he looks for me a lot more. He do, he do. Yeah, he's like, like attached to me. He, like Legend, he's in this little phase that now you know how kids have little fans. He know you've seen it, but he'll be like, "Have you ever seen?" So like I was down here doing something, and he was like standing on the balcony. He was like, "Mommy," he was like, "Have you ever seen Daddy?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yes," like, <laughs> but he noticed that you wasn't there. Like after a few hours, like. Mm -hmm. So it's so crazy. Kids be knowing, like they be realizing when their parents are not there. That's mm -hmm. why. Even at that young age. Yeah, mm -hmm. they be missing their parents and stuff. I feel like CJ is like he got to a point where, like at first when he was little, he used to be happy to like be with different people all the time. Like now I notice every time I be like, oh I gotta get, get on a plane, CJ. I'll be back tomorrow. He was like, mom, why you always leaving? Mm -hmm. Like why you gotta go on a plane again? And then like the first thing he asked, he was like, what? You gotta go sing on stage or like you gotta perform? And so like part of me be having a little mom guilt because I don't be wanting to leave them. Like if they didn't have school, I would take them. But I know it's gonna be a time where I could settle down, and that's why I want another business so I could just focus on like making income that way and yeah. not having if I want to I mean I still got a lot of work to do for music but like if I want to chill out for a while and be with my kids and raise them like I want to do that but like I just I'm not at that point yet where I can do that not yeah. right now I'm not gonna lie to you. this is it's a little like sad when you think about it but like like these right here are the best years like you know what I mean like a 17 year old yeah you're gonna still like look and be proud and yeah but he got his friends and but his it's like he ain't gonna be worried about us life. like you know what I mean he's building his own where like the age that like Legend and CJ is at, like it kind of they need you at these moments. Like one thing that CJ said that broke my heart when he was in well last school year, I think I was somewhere and all the moms went to the it was like a party in class that day where the parents came, Aww. and then he came home. He was like, "Mom, you wasn't there." I was like, "What, babe? Like what?" He was like, "Everybody else's mom came, but you didn't come." Like that, you know how that made me feel? Like that made me feel so just like, oh my god, I failed. Like, where yeah. I felt so bad, and I was like, don't worry, next time, I'm like, yeah. I wish y'all could see him hop. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna make it up to you, or like, like, I felt really bad that I had to be the parent that wasn't there. It's like, he gets certain, it's really weird, because like, our kids get certain things that other kids don't get, but then it's like the, sometimes a special sometimes moment. Sometimes it's special, and maybe from the broader scheme, maybe the little or the smaller things. That matter the most, yeah, like, you know? Yeah, yeah. Cause I've dealt with that a lot, especially like with sports and stuff. Like only my mom being there, mm -hmm. and I, I could see, I see the difference, especially in sports. Like when the moms are involved versus where the dad is involved, and like I, I'm used to everybody's dad being involved, but like only my mom is involved, so I kind of get like less privileges. I get less because like I've been in predicaments where like I know I'm better than somebody, but like a kid plays more than me because his dad went to the coach and talked to him mm -hmm. like. You better play my son, like play my like that's what dad cause a man could talk to a man, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Whereas they look at like, they're looking at my mom as like not a threat. Like you oh, I don't care if she is mad, you know what I mean? He's, she can't beat me up. You know what I mean? As mm -hmm. where the father is like, You better play my son, put my son in, like and I've dealt with that. Like it's not a very good feeling because it's like, damn, I felt like I gotta overprove myself because niggas don't see my dad at my games, you know? Mm -hmm. That kind of reminds me of yeah. like CJ. But like, I'm be trying to look at the good side of things too. Like, having your mom there at a game too is like dope. Moms I, usually don't be going. I wanna, I wanna do that. Like, I know that CJ loves sports, and I, I keep, I kept saying, well, we were transitioning to moving and stuff, so it kind of was like. I couldn't put him in basketball then because like was moving, was about to move. But now, instead of him doing like after school program, I'm trying to put him in a sport program. I really want him to be active. I really want, and then I also want to be present like at his little games and stuff like that. And cause that stuff kids remember, like kids really do. So yeah. I'm gonna try to be better with that. That's what I'm saying. Him. Even with that, like if you don't show up to CJ's games, but like. There's kids on a team where both his parents show up. Guess who's like, like oh, it's no one's at CJ's game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, so if I sit him on the bench, 
no one's gonna kick like yeah. you know whereas then parents come to a game and they want to see their kid play they don't want to see you know with sports it gets a little tricky I don't think he would have that issue though no I don't think he would cuz I'll be right there I know you'll be going to his games oh too. yeah well, I want CJ to get good though so he can get like not to say like he couldn't afford like I couldn't get college for him or whatever but just like I want him to just be able to get scholarships you know like yeah. just free like college stuff whatever like I know everybody don't go to college but I don't know I didn't get to experience you gotta earn that. that yeah you gotta earn that you gotta, he gotta work for that yeah and that, that would show him a good yeah, a good lesson, you know, like you, that's something he did for himself. Right? I wish yeah. I could have experienced college in a way, but it's like, I feel like, I don't know, everything happens for a reason. Not everybody needs college. A lot of times I felt dumb because I didn't go to college. Like, I feel like there's a lot of things in college that people learn outside of just their, like, how to talk more proper, like, yeah, more I could, vocabulary. I, I like, could agree with you. I've learned more stuff outside the classroom mm -hmm. than I ever did inside the classroom. I've never used PEMDAS. I've never Same. had the parentheses and do all this. Like, bro, they just be teaching you shit just because, like, I don't know. Like, I think they do it to confuse your mind. Or you don't need to know all that stuff. Like, they you need, need to know life how to classes. read and write. They should teach people how to read contracts. Read, write, count money. Should, how to do credit. Like, you know, yeah, credit they should classes. do stuff like that. But I feel like one thing a college does, they they kind of like they they get you prepared to work for somebody, and they don't teach you how to work for yourself or mm. build something from the ground up. Like that's what college is. Like they get you prepared to, to work for throw someone. you in the workforce. Mm. You know? Yeah, what I mean? that's the truth. They're getting. They don't yeah. really prep entrepreneurs. I don't know. You can't take a class for entrepreneurship like that. What about owning a business? You could probably take a business class, but even in that, they're teaching you not to run your own business. You could take a business class without going to college. They yeah, have you like can. trade schools. You can, and but they're probably better in college. But at the same time, they're not teaching you how to start an LLC. Mm. They're not teaching you how All to the... get your EIN and open up. Like they're not teaching you that stuff. You learn more on YouTube. Mm -hmm. From like the what, what are books. Yeah. And books is thirty four four dollars. I've always struggled with books, man. I like books. The only thing I don't like uninteresting books. You have yeah. to find a, a, things that you like and then get the book. I'm the type of person that has to read read the book out loud in a voice. Like in a certain voice for me to really let it get to me. And I feel like that has a part like my A D D has a lot to do with that. I would literally sit and read a page like and, five and times and don't it. and i'm like okay wait that wait. has happened to me though it's good to like highlight it's good to write stuff like if there's a word you don't understand look it up you know right but like because if not you're just reading like because we're so used to reading like clarence read section and you just read yeah you just read and, and just read and you're not reading to absorb and learn like that happens to me too. That's just the most annoying. When thing. they call him a class? No, no. When you read a page out of a book, oh, and you just and don't get it. You try to go to the next page, and you're like, No, I didn't understand Hold anything. On, what? <laughs> like what? I, I feel like my attention short. span. I can't comprehend certain things. Some people learn slower than others. I feel like I'm one of those people that I'm a hands-on person, so I need to see it rather than like read it. So you're a visual person. Yeah, like I would do better in a class where they're actually demonstrating what to do. Is that a green fry? Or is it black fur? Ew. That look like a inside of a toe nail. Okay, I got a question. This happens to me a lot. Sometimes I'm in public and I, I just get thrown off guard. Not thrown off guard, but like I always get put on a spot like Queen. What advice would you give to someone that is really chasing their dreams as an artist or like what, what advice would you give to someone like to, and then like it becomes really cliche but like i end up telling them to just like i hate to say this but like never give up like, like that's a true thing but like i be getting put on spot a lot like what do you say to people when they come and ask you that do you really try to get like a good answer yeah i would, I would say stay consistent like always be yourself like be authentic and like find your niche and i think if you apply those things to any category it could be nba it could be content creator it could be whatever like it could be artist rapper they you can find success success following those three things but the god honest truth which people don't want to hear they don't want to hear people it people don't want to i know look, what you're about to say say it. people don't want to hear the truth from you but the truth is not everybody's gonna make it you know what i mean of course we're blessed and we've been 
I guess, chosen or, but like, I've seen people, yo, bro, people have came up to me and said, like, show me their videos. Like, I've been working I've been hard, working for like, four years, been posting every Friday and I'm doing this and this and this and this. Like, what else can and I do? Still, and it's really like, I'm looking at it like, yo, bro, you're doing everything. You're doing it more than me. Do you think the bigger thing to tell them is to have always like multiple plans? Yeah, I would, I would say always have multiple multiple plans because if it's more than one way to be successful there's one well, yes when me growing up i thought i was always going to play basketball professionally even if it was nba overseas whatever i thought i was going to play basketball when that when that fell out i found content creation and like that was that worked for me you know what i'm saying what if i even did go to become a professional basketball player and like but i wasn't that good or and i wasn't making that much i found a whole new thing that mm -hmm. you know that probably possibly probably would have been better than this you know what i mean so like have multiple and then like i feel like another thing that i always tell people is your success is not equal to someone else's amount of success so like mm -hmm. don't think because you didn't make a million dollars this year that you weren't successful if you made anything more than like you did last year like you're being successful in some way you just gotta keep trying different avenues or whatever. But like, I feel like life is not just, I know like financial freedom is like a thing, but I feel like that'd be more about time. Like you can never get time back. So mm. a lot of times people be chasing money, chasing money. And when you get so busy chasing money that you don't even live life. So really that is a true success. Like finding something to do that you love. You love doing it. You don't feel trapped. You don't feel enslaved. And then you still have time to like really enjoy life and like, I'm still just trying to work on that myself. It's like really just bask in certain moments and like just enjoy every moment. Cause if you don't have that, you don't have like freedom. Mm -hmm. And life will go by fast and you won't even know it. Like, you know, I've seen some people like maybe waste their prime years, like, you know, mm -hmm. chasing something that is not working. Like that's, I feel like that's one thing I know people will be like, what does he do and this all and all of that. But like one thing I've done really good my whole life is I know when something doesn't work and when something does work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think some some people get blinded by that. You know what I mean? Where like, no, I want to do this. Like this yeah. is my dream and I'm, I don't care if it like, I'm right. like more realistic. Like I rather have no regrets and just figure it out, you know, like be successful in, in any in any kind of way I can, you know, and just be realistic sometimes is all. Yeah. Like that's all. It's, like, it's real tough to tell somebody that that's chasing a dream. It's one breath to say, hey, don't ever give up on your dreams. But then it's another, like, it's, it's just but then really in tough. But in the same true. breath, your dreams could drown you. In the same breath. Your dream, oh, that's your really tough. And it's like, bro, there was a moment where like it hit me like you're not going to the league. You're not going to the NBA. You guys keep it real you, with yourself. You don't wake up at six in the morning. You're not doing dribbling drills. You're not taking extra shots every day. You you're semi you're just naturally good at basketball. Like in order to make it to that, there's probably five hundred spots in the NBA and there's billions of yeah. people. <laughs> that's what brings me back to what I was um the reason why I said that in the first place because I was at the airport the other day and this uh, girl came up to me and she sat down she was like queen could you please can I talk to you for a little bit and I was like yeah she was like what would you say to like me like I'm a like I'm an artist from Detroit and I've been dropping music and like I have music out and like I really want to be an artist like how do I really make it and like part of me like I was just like I don't know if this is it's not the first time I ever like kept it truthful but like I was just like, you know, I've seen people outwork me as an artist. Like still to this day, I've seen people outwork me. And the crazy thing is it's like- It's not about that though. Some, it's just sometimes like, that's just the calling on your life. And like, you know, and sometimes like, and I was like, do you know how many people could probably sing better than me? It's so many people in this world. It's millions of people with talent. Talent. I hate to sound like this, but like not everyone, like you just said, is gonna make it. And I didn't say that to crush her dreams or whatever, but like, like you said, she showed me, like she told me everything she had been doing and the only thing I could say was just keep trying like I was like you might have to find a different avenue first like I started on YouTube first and before that I was doing American Idol I was trying to chase my dream I was chasing American Idol I went to X Factor I got turned down every single time and, and that was the music yes. route and that didn't work you know I, what worked I skipped college you for that. said F the music I'm, I'm going doing to go YouTube. YouTube and I, I and ended now. up right back to my destiny so I told her I yeah. said like it's hard to just like life works like that too. Yeah, that's I was why, like, that's do why something I said, else. Do something else, and you never and then know. You never you know might it might bring you right back right here. back where you originally wanted yeah. to be. I hope y'all don't think that I'm like I was not trying to no, be no, like mean, but like it's like shit. 
at some point, I be wanting to keep it real with people. I don't want to always just like say what yeah, sounds good. Bro, bro, people just be like, yeah, stay consistent, do this. And That's be, not true. Sometimes people like, more consistent than us. Yeah, like, it's all about timing. It's all about God's timing. It's yeah. about the timing of what you put out, the climate, like everything could, like it has to really go perfect. Like if Queen dropped medicine four months later, it might have not, not did yeah. what it did when she dropped it. <laughs> it's so crazy because I dropped it in the off season. I dropped medicine when no one else was dropping music. No one drops music around Christmas. When, yeah, or around like, there, no. It was like around, yeah, it was like New after Year's Christmas. Yeah, and, yeah. and like, it's crazy that my song did that in that time, but that was my time. And like, that sometimes I still be like, I still be like, dang, I was like, God really just, it. and now I'm even still learning. I, I'm just now getting to a point where like, I have to like, really take this and grab it before I lose it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have to grab a hold of it and like be involved and stuff and like before like it leaves like this was a blessing that god gave to me so i can't just it's no more like taking advantage yeah, yeah. taking advantage of it and like the same with this taking it same for with the youtube stuff. you know like this is thing we're doing something that people i'm talking about billions of people i don't billions of people dream about so just doing their this. youtube channel and then we have the nerve to be like oh, oh we'll take today? a day off oh we're not posting today that's oh, taking not, stuff for like, granted what? That's like, we have a responsibility now because we've been, you know what I'm saying? Like, can't take it for granted. Are we looking at ourselves like in yeah, a little disgust? Yeah, this is like a little therapy session. <laughs> I think this is a good talk though. This is good. We yeah, thought, I know it we wasn't it was like gonna all the be laughs. more funny, but it ended up being motivational and serious. I hope we motivate you guys too. Like, we don't only want you guys to like, watch our videos and like we want to motivate we want you guys to strive like if you guys want to do this like i hope like one day when you guys are rich and famous you guys are gonna be like you know i used to watch these two youtubers it was queen and clarence and they had this mukbang late at night and it motivated the shit out of me and like you know what i mean like who would you say is the first person that you looked at on youtube and made you want to do youtube like this person i think i've told you? people this it's probably ddg i never watched youtube i think i was scrolling through my shit one day and i seen ddg buy a i8 i think it was probably like 18 17 i don't know mm -hmm. and i'm like in my head i'm like Hold up, you could get paid from YouTube? Psh, I remember, I remember <laughs> like, finding it out too. I'm thinking, I thought YouTube was just for music videos. Like, niggas is vlogging and getting paid to do YouTube. And he bought an i8 with YouTube money. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, hold up, maybe I should be doing YouTube. I'm over here taking sexy pictures for the <laughs> gram. Let but me... that's how people usually start out. They go viral first from pictures like on Facebook. On I think it's easier Instagram, that way. Instagram, and like, then if you, you bring have your already phone already over. Name, yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the first people like that I ever seen that I knew that you can get paid from YouTube, it was DMV Nation. Mm -hmm. And they, I remember I'm not gonna lie, they they goats. They some hustlers. <laughs> and when I seen like all they I was like, told. dang, I they was like, told. wow, I'm gonna be broke no more. Like YouTube. And then when I seen it, like the first check that I ever seen from YouTube, I remember it was like eight thousand five hundred dollars. And like to me that was like, whoa, that's a like that's a lot of money to a person that was on section eight, was on food stamps, and then ever since then it was just like, you know, like I never stopped doing youtube and like it was like a bold jump though as soon as i seen that and seen what he was doing and like holding the camera and stuff even though i was the person where i was like kind of reserved and all of that i knew i could do it like i knew i could do that do you know what i'm saying yeah because like, he was like a cool kind it was of like yeah it was like i could do that like you, you could know still be I mean? yourself like, like yeah whereas like a lot of youtube it was probably like just too and so animated, animated. And like mm -hmm. And then like when I seen DDG, it was like I kind of see myself like he nonchalant, laid back. He not doing backflips off the wall. Like he not. He just being wilding. himself, he and he's just, just naturally yeah. entertaining. Yeah, and right there I said I could do that. Yeah. And then. And you definitely came out your shell too since the beginning. Like sure. you came out your shell a lot, especially with you being on Twitch. But it was weird to me at first. Like you're literally talking to uh, a camera. A camera. Like we're talking to a camera, <laughs> but, but we know we're gonna be talking to y'all. But do you know right now, like right now, I don't look at it as like a camera. You look at them like people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's in the, the beginning like, it was like yeah, this that's is the, an object. That, that's the training that you because if you look at it as a camera, you're gonna talk different. You're gonna you're gonna look different. You're gonna do things different. If you look at them as 
people watching you. Mm -hmm. It's a little different. Yeah, shout out to all the people still doing YouTube, thugging it out on YouTube. Cause it's people think it's an easy job, but it's really it's really not to sit here and try to come up with new content. It's I hard, see, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard. A couple I be watching a lot that I admire and I talk to her sometimes is Riss and Kwan. Mm -hmm. Like they did definitely doing their thing too. I like them. Yeah, I really like the wholesomeness like that they have. So But um yeah, this is a really, really good talk. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's what time is it? It's about to be two. It's one thirty. I'm about to go take this makeup off and catch y'all later, man. Help him limp up the stairs. This cane. Let me get a head start. Yeah, no, yeah. I want to show show them how you walk in real quick. Walk to the couch and then walk back. I'm sorry. Let me get a head start off you. Y'all, no exaggeration. This is how this man is walking. And there's no exaggeration, so. You said I ain't walking back. But all right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this um, video. Hope it motivates you. And we'll see you the next video. Mwah.